What's up, homie? TJ Dodge. Been doing this shit here about 15 years, self taught. Fully independent. Been an artist my entire life. I eat, sleep, breathe this shit. Feed my family with this shit. And that's all I'm in it for, man. Just to take care of my loved ones, my wee ones, man. But I've been doing this shit my whole life. Fully professional. I always knew I was gonna go pro at something. But it wasn't until I was 30 that I decided to take it the next step and really push for a dream and really push for perfection, you know? I'm a shit in order if the feds ask. You ask me how I did it, I can show you. But you grind, take some time. If you're rushing, it's gonna fold you. Let it mold you, take the wins with the loss. Daily life when you a motherfucking boss. Yeah. What made you start doing this? It's always been in me, nigga, my whole life. Nigga, my whole life. From 45, I got 43 in. No, no bullshit, man. My dad, his dad, anything with the last name DYES got some type of art in it. Whether it's music, illustration, hands, all of that. That's what we do. You know what I'm saying? People ask me that a lot, man. I was born for it, bred for it. As far as tattooing, I wanted to take the erasers off my pencils. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, you gotta, you gotta hit the target every time. Ain't no take backs. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I got into tattooing like after drawing and painting and shit. So what you doing right now? Prepping the skin, man. I gotta exfoliate this shit. I don't give a fuck how many showers you gonna tell people you take, nigga. When you come get a tattoo, I'm finna soak that shit. Just so that my stencil sticks on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's just a warm up. That's the first thing you should have did when you got here. So you get it out the way. Go ahead, man. Sit down. You can sit down. You know what I'm saying? In your baby mama's motherfucking living room, nigga, on the, on the futon and shit, nigga, I was tattooing all over the motherfucking city just trying to get the experience. Just trying to get it in, you know what I'm saying? Cheap as a motherfucker, too, nigga. Uh -huh. Back when niggas was buying single needles at the supply shop and shit, that crazy needle. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Trying to get as many tattoos, trying to do as many tattoos as you can, but not even having the motherfucking supplies to do it. So you're buying tools and fuels. Trying to use the same piece of carbon paper ten times over and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But nigga, you gotta fucking start somewhere. And if you want it, if you want it, nigga, you can have it. Period, nigga. If you put in the work, if you water the grass, the grass is gonna grow over time. You know? So if you got the heart and you're willing to put in the time and you want this shit as bad as you wanna breathe. Nigga, it's gotta crack. Nigga, that's physics. What mo what goes up must come down. When there's a fucking left, there's a right. Hey, if you want it, you can have it. And I tell that to anybody, man. It don't matter if you fucking man, woman, black, white, young, old, from Denver, from LA, from France, nigga, no matter who you are, the same rules apply. Nigga, we all breathe oxygen. Y'all bleed, we all bleed red, right? So the, it's fair, nigga. It's equal opportunity. If you know it's haters around the corner, nigga, don't fuck with the haters around the corner. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh, that nigga don't be responding. That nigga ain't hit me back. Hey, man. I, I'm only one motherfucker. I only got two hands. And I got the same 24 hours a day that you got. Ain't that what Pac said? Oh, yeah. I got the same 24 hours that you got. You know what I'm saying? So I can't be everywhere at once. I'm damn good at being in two or three places at once. But really, nigga, I can only be right here, right now. So when I'm done taking care of business, I got other business to attend to. I got a wife, two sons. You know? I got a whole family outside of this shit. 
And they priority to this. I do this shit for them. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if I don't get back, I, it's not because I didn't want to. It's either because I didn't have the time or you was on some bullshit last time I seen you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What I'm supposed to do about that? I think I just got to get it how it is, how it comes, man. But this nigga right here, Carl pays for all his shit in advance, nigga. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, I'll just get random cash apps, nigga. <laughs> it be 8.30 in the fucking morning, nigga, and my fucking phone to go off with the with the money, with the jingle, with the money jingle and shit. No, I have a tattoo you know what budget. Mean? And you I'll be like, hey. Invested yourself, you know? Invested. I don't even got to respond half the time. He already know it's already locked in. Like, hey, man. Nigga, I see that's about a G already. Nigga, you ready to get in? <laughs> you got to stay at it. Since this is a lot of sessions, man, people think it's one sesh on this, but dude, we've been what four different studios. Or four, four different, different studios from the fucking garage to the shop, back to the garage to the shop, to the lab on Fairfax, and back here in this motherfucker. How many years behind? Oh man. I got a freshman champion. 6'2", 261, starting varsity, right guard at Mullen, football. Mullen did pretty good this year. They actually just won a playoff berth, man. We got to see Denver East tomorrow. Yeah. And, uh, man, that kid literally has 26 pancakes on the season. If you don't know what a pancake block is, that's where the offensive lineman leaves the defensive lineman on his back. <laughs> Literally like a pancake, flip him like a pancake. And um, it's crazy that they don't really track that shit in high school sports in Colorado. But, needless to say, that nigga's a dog. I'm super proud of him. 3.9 GPA right now. Um, can't wait till wrestling season. I see a three-time state champion, four-time even out of you on a wrestling mat. Super proud of the man he's becoming, how mature he is. That kid's literally up till 11.45, 11.30 every night, finishing up homework after lifting weights and practicing with the squad. Up at 6 a.m. I take him to school every morning. We out the house by seven. And um, I don't see that nigga again until I get home from tattooing late at night. I might not see him at all now, during this part of the time. So uh, all of that, and that little nigga's killing shit. He's drilling shit. I raised the hammer. I'm super proud of him, man. That's another thing, like I was saying earlier, nigga, if you water it, it'll grow. If you stay consistent and crack, that shit will pop off if you keep working and that's the shit that I'm feeding him and that nigga's buying into it man and I'm just, I couldn't be more proud yeah man um, I really it's crazy I taught myself how to tattoo from my garage how do you pay yourself to teach yourself from home Motherfuckers been on quarantine and shit and during COVID and all of that. Nigga, I've been social distancing. I've been on my own grind for a long time and I gotta owe it all to the people who've been fucking with me the whole time, man. And, and, and watching me grow and tolerating my growth. You know what I'm saying? You, Vic, shit. You know what I'm saying? You've been watching me from the get fucking go, man. Like I've been watching you the whole fucking time as we've been blowing this motherfucker up. Brand Boston. I could have been no Brand Boss without the people that fuck with me consistently over the years. How long has it been? 15 years? At least 10 of them. I know. For you, yeah. I'm saying all the way around. And this motherfuckers that I've been tattooing, I'm tattooing their kids now, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Lincoln Lancers. Young Ballers. Jordan. Angelo. Jacob Romero. And they dad, Steve, Alameda Pirate Wrestling. <laughs> Steve, they dad, I'll tattoo. He's probably 
one of the first people that I tattooed when I first ordered my machine, right? First five tattoos ever, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I've been fucking with him ever since. Ever since. And them little kids, was, Jordan was a baby. He's 16, right? I said 15 years, yeah. right? So literally, their whole motherfucking life. I learned so much over these years with my return clients, y'all people that came back to me from the beginning, I seen how my work healed. And I learned what to do, what worked, and what not to do, what didn't work. You know what I'm saying? So man, yeah, shout out to all y'all. I'll never leave nobody. I'll never leave y'all abandoned like that. Even though I don't speak a lot, super isolated. I ain't forgot none of this shit, man. I still got all the pics too. Literally in this phone right here, I got 26,000 photos in this motherfucker. It ain't all tattoos. It might be a hundred shots of the same tattoo sometimes, but you know. Shout out to all y'all, for real. Because I do this shit with my whole heart. You know, that's the thing about little uh, logos and, and names and nicknames and shit. What does that shit really mean? Basically, I started with this Tad Daddy shit right here. If you look at it, it's just, you know, a T and a D. Because I'm TJ Dodds, you know what I'm saying? But it's my two lives, literally. I tattoo, and then I go be daddy. Like, literally. So motherfuckers see that think, oh, that nigga's cocky. That nigga's trying to like, get the bitches. And nah, I ain't calling that nigga no daddy and shit. Like, yeah, nigga, get your mind off the motherfucking gutter, nigga. I'm an artist. It's got to be something clever going on, man. And that's just me being corny ass old man clever, nigga, because I'm the tap daddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's some bullshit, really. That's just a big name. But the name of my shop, the name of the brand, the studio, all of that, all heart. Because, like I said, I do this shit with my whole heart, all of it. You know what I'm saying? Brand balls. Shit. I'm TJ Dodge, and I'm a brand boss. Are you a business owner that would like to be featured on an episode of Brand Bosses? Send a detailed email to victuals19 at gmail.com. Production fees do apply if selected. <laughs>